How's it going? I'm Sean Hollis, and welcome back to Going In. On this week's episode, we're going to talk about a very touchy subject, and that, of course, STDs. So as always, we're going to go real deep into the subject, but first, let's head down to Miami, pay that $155, get our tests, get our work permit, and when we come back, we'll talk a little more about the subject. So after I go pee pee, I get blood taken out. Get tested twice a week for safety. Correction, get tested once every two weeks. Twice a week would be a lot. So after you get tested, all the results are spread throughout the industry on something called PASS. And each, each company receives your test results via the internet and it's instantaneous. Once you get a green status, it'll go from you know not cleared to green checked for seven days, 14 days, and 30 days. When I first started in the industry, the increment was seven days and that was the max. After that seven days, you need to be retested and come back with a clean, you know, a clean test. And uh, that again, that gives you that work permit for that seven days to shoot as much as you can within that. Everybody who shoots needs to have this green check next to their name on the past website or, you know, talent testing website. That way everybody can know that they're safe while they're at work. Of course, paying $155 every week got very expensive for companies and, and talent alike. So they backed off on that and they made it 14 days, which is still extremely safe. I mean, it is so rare where somebody will come back with a bad test. And I can say just from my standpoint, three and a half years in, it's all you know right there on the past. I've never come back with anything. And that's a strong testament to the industry and to their strict regulations. So even going from seven to 14 days, you know, I can shoot 14 days within that time period, and that's 14 different partners, and still nothing has ever come back. Some companies will also shoot within that 30-day range. Now, these companies, uh, maybe they just shoot smaller sites, or they shoot just BJ, it may not be, you know, hardcore intercourse, which of course, you know, wouldn't warrant a, a full-blown, you know, 14-day or 7-day full panel gold standard test, which... Of course, they have every right to do that, and when you shoot with that company, you know you, you know that it's a 30-day standard. Whenever you shoot with whichever company under whichever time frame, you get to see your co-star or your you know your colleagues test for that day. So you walk in, you get you know IDs, make sure everybody's of age as always. You know, nice to meet you. Here's my test. I'm still green. You know, green checked. I have a green status. Nice to meet you, I see you're green checked. Let's go ahead and do this scene. The good thing too about using the industry regulated draw sites is that there is what's called the gold standard panel. And they're also extremely regulated from within the industry. So if you're looking to shoot, you know, your first porn or whatever, you can't just go to your regular doctor and get a test because maybe his practices aren't up with the industry practices. Now back to what I was saying about when somebody doesn't have a green check. They're not allowed to shoot. It's not like the performer can say, hey look, I'm okay with it. Um, let's shoot anyways like it is with the condom where you have that choice. The green check is mandatory. You cannot shoot, like the company won't shoot you. You're not allowed to, to shoot without a green check, which is again, great. This is all good stuff. And of course I'm sure everybody's question is, well, how often do STDs arise in the industry? It is extremely rare from my experiences. As I stated previously, three and a half years in, 600 movies clean. Again, you can go on there and check that out to verify that, that you know, never, never had anything. So, HIV, <clears throat> that's a tough one, right? Nobody really wants to talk about that. So, and this is personal experience only. I'm a new guy relatively in the industry, three and a half years. 
So what I have learned about HIV in the industry is it is taken so seriously that if there is ever an occurrence of HIV, there is something called a moratorium, which is an industry-wide shutdown. So if one person pops up with HIV in all of the industry, the whole industry nationwide shuts down. So during this moratorium, what happens is they backtrack and they pick up the breadcrumbs to see who this person worked with, when they worked with them, how, you know, where they worked, and they try to trace back how this individual acquired, you know, HIV, which of course is always awful. That has happened one time since I have been in the industry in three and a half years, which, you know, out of 2,000 or so people shooting and production companies running seven days a week, of course the number zero is the one you aim for, but one time in, in that span of period is excellent. It's really great. In conclusion, the porn industry is, is extremely safe when it comes to STDs, and uh, if you want some more information, there's a great article on CNN.com called how to prevent STDs like a porn star, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you guys ever want to know your status, of course, this is no plug or anything, but there's over 400 uh, locations and draw sites for talent testing throughout North America. So know your status, and uh, thanks for going in with me this week. And next week, we'll be back to talk about some more stuff.